Inferno. Level 2 upgrade. Today we're going to be installing the Proline transmission onto Inferno. Alright, so let's get this thing open. Here we go. Looks like we got some hardware. Uh, we got some diff oil, I think. Yep, diff oil, 5,000 weight. And the transmission itself. Oops, and a little bracket we gotta put on. So here's the transmission. Wow, that looks nice. <laughs> I can't wait to get this thing installed. So, let's get to it. So the first thing that we have to do, well, let me set this stuff out of the way for a second. So I can pull up the car. All right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take off this wheel with that nut right there. And then we're going to want to remove the gear cover, which is held on with this nut right here. I nut, 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 this screw right here. And down in here, a screw right in here. With all that removed, the gear cover just slides right off. And now we need to remove the pinion gear if it's too big. Otherwise, you, you won't need to remove it. But to remove it, uh, we need to remove that grub screw right there to remove the pinion gear. But if you don't need to remove it, you just need to remove the motor, which is held on with that screw right here and that screw right there. Now, if you're using this to get into the transmission in here, uh, you, you do need to take off the spur gear. But since I'm putting on a new transmission that comes with a new slipper clutch, I do not need to remove this, so uh, this whole uh, transmission and the uh, spur gear will be going on to uh, the Stampede. So now to remove this transmission itself, we need to remove four, shoot, uh, four screws that hold on to uh, the shock tower. There's two here and two back here. After the screws in the shock tower are removed, we need to move on to the rear bumper. Now to remove the rear bumper, we need to remove this screw right here and this screw right here. The, bump will, the bumper will just slide off like it is here. And now for the A-arms. The rear A-arms are held in with this hinge pin right here and this hinge pin right here. Now to remove the transmission. The transmission is held on with six screws. Hold on a second. Six screws right in here. Two right here, two right here, and the two across here. Now we need to remove the drive shafts. They're held on with one grub screw per drive shaft. With the drive shafts off, we're left with just the transmission. Now I'm going to be putting this on the Stampede. So we'll get to the new transmission now, which is right here. Now one of the cool things about this is they got a heat sink right here, this plate, and uh, your screws won't sink in to uh, this bottom spot for your screw right here, which mine has done a bit. And we, uh, there's a piece of tape here. No piece of tape here. So that's great. All right, now to install the new transmission, we first need to put down that little plate that I had right here. So put this down, you need to look for the part that says front, which is right here. It says front, just trust just, me, just, the thing won't focus, but it says front right there. Place it down with, with the part that says front, right in here. And then we're going to need to attach uh, these, there's four screws on the bottom, since there are four holes in here. We need to attach Put that back on here. Hold on. Now I need to attach these four screws. With those, with those four screws now installed, you can now remove, uh, not remove, install the other two screws right here. Make sure when that you install these other four that you have the transmission in place because these two do go into the transmission. So I'll be back when I get these two installed. Just as a note, I would put your drive shafts on before you put the, the transmission on because to get to uh, the drive shaft on this side in here, it is extremely hard to do when you have a shock tower here and a receiver uh, cover here. I have a receiver cover, uh, a gear cover here. Uh, you could take one of them off and you, you'd, it'd be easier to get to, but it's better just to put your drive shafts on before you put the transmission all the way in here. 
All right, so now you have the drive shafts on, all the six screws under here installed. We need to put on your A-arms. Now, I always put the screw in on this side. They do, they come, when you first get it, it comes on the other side over, over here. Uh, but it's just way harder to get to over there, so I like to keep the screw on this side. So I will be screwing in the A-arms in here. With both A-arms installed, now we need to take off this gear cover so then we can put the motor on. Now to remove the gear cover, there's a screw right here and a screw down in here. With the gear cover off, just reinstall the motor with these two screws. And then uh, set your mesh between your spur and pinion gear. I use a piece of paper and then push the motor as close as I can to the spur gear and then just run the paper through here and uh, I have only shook one spur gear in, in an entire year so yeah it's been working out pretty well uh, now I'll just put your reinstall the gear cover and I'll be right back after the gear covers on you can reattach your shock tower with the four screws two in the back over here and then over here there's two in the front with the shock tower installed now we should install the rear bumper which just goes on like this and then there is a screw hold on, right there that you put on. With the rear bumper now installed, I used to do a reinstall your tire. And this is the last step. So reinstall your tire and then put down the nut right in here. So here's before. And here's after, guys looks way cooler and I can't wait to give this thing a run. Catch you guys in the next video. Keep RCing.